Hey guys, today I'm unboxing the Pulsar Thermion XB50 LRF2 Pro. So I was looking forward to, to receiving this scope. Let's see what's inside the box. What's inside the box? This quick start guide, it uh, includes a certificate with your model and your serial number and it says here it's got a three year warranty, a guide to the new Stream Vision app, I'm looking forward to this app and in the back I saw that there's a QR code that you can scan either if you have Apple or Android you can download the, the new um, Stream Vision app, that's really going to be fun to, to see how that works then a padded canvas bag it's quite decent with a strap let's zip it open and the real surprise comes when you open up here everything is neatly neatly packaged I already see a, a extra battery I know it's got an onboard battery You can immediately see that this is a European product. It's it's very well packaged, and um, the product itself, this this scope is beautiful. So let's put it down here. Okay, the charger connection. I don't know if I need to open this. The additional battery, little lens cleaning cloth. I don't know what this is for, I think this is for the battery. And here's the, the sunshade, or just the shade to, to prevent the, the light from escaping. Let's see how it works. And this is really cool. It's magnetic. Can you imagine that? Charging cable, a cable I think this USB cable. Um, is for downloading your, your your videos and your pictures. And here is a little little charging port. Let's take everything out. I'm really excited guys, I've booked or organized with a farmer that has got jackal problems to go to his farm tonight to see after I sight it in my new pulser to see if we can find this jackal. So this farm really impressed, it really speaks of quality and let's see how it goes. After struggling to get the scope fitted because the Picatinny rail doesn't seem to be standard, we 8 o'clock at night ready to sight in this rifle, this Thermion scope. So far everything seems to be working well, so let's see how this goes. Nice work. Okay, let's get to get the work on the pad. Here's the slaver. Here's the slaver. Can you see it? Yes. Nice. Why is that lava? We just moved from 50 meters up to 100 meters. Sighting in this rifle. This is the third shot I'm going to fire now. So the, the windage is almost perfect and it was a little bit high. So it's, it's going quite well. One of the, the differences between my old trail and this rifle is on the freezing mode I can freeze it on 16 magnification which gives me quite a, a lot of um, resolution to be able to see what's going on whereas with the trail 
um, XP38 that could only freeze it on four magnification. So it's sighting in with this rifle is definitely much easier than with the trail XP38 which I had which I still have. Okay, I'm still figuring out the, how everything works. The magnification is a little bit different than my old scope and to change um, the, the different um, lighting regimes as well. So, but it's going very well. The scope seems to be very accurate and it is very easy to, to decide in. So the first thing I have to tell you guys is this is not a heat pad as I thought, it's actually a, a capsicum pad. So this is um, chilly inside here, so it's not hot. So that's also something which impressed me of the scope. I could still make out this, this little block, although this wasn't the real heat pad. So I'm really impressed with that. My first shot at 30 meters was there. Then at um, 50 meters uh, I shot there and we moved up to 100 meters and it was two shots there. So, like I said, it's not a, not a heat pad, it's a little bit difficult at 100 meters to distinguish this little pad because it's not hot, it's just like a different kind of material uh, of, of like paper than this one. But to be able to see this and still shoot there um, without any heat, I think is really very good for the scope. Can you hear that jackal there? We just finished sighting the rifle in with the new scope in. I'm looking forward to, to putting my new thermi onto the test on, on Jackal and shooting problem causing animals. been calling this spot for half an hour without any success so I'm moving on to the next spot now After having a tough day mounting the scope and um, only sighting in at 8 o'clock, this is the result. I'm very impressed with my new Thermion and let's see how many jackal hunting videos is going to follow after this one.